Welcome. Good morning, everybody. Now, this is a party. I like seeing all you folks in here. Thank you and welcome with being with us today. Uh, good morning. My name is Chris Sergio. As the announcer said, I am the CEO for North American Breweries, the very proud CEO of North American Breweries. Um, we are so happy to have you here today. I want to thank you for all the work that you're doing. Uh, today is a monumental day for our company, and I also believe for upstate New York. Uh, we are so especially pleased to have the honored uh, governor with us today, Governor Cuomo, and his incredible team, Stefan and Vinny, have been doing amazing work to help us build the revitalization in upstate New York, and we would not be here without them today. Shortly, you will hear from the governor, and then we will hear from Assemblyman Morelli, and then later on, Senator Robach, who will be speaking with us as well. Um, there are just a whole lot of folks. You don't get here by accident, right? There are just a whole lot of folks, so please indulge me while I acknowledge and uh, welcome many of the team who's here with us today. Uh, so first, I would like to welcome representatives from the Finger Lakes Regional Economic Development Council. Uh, please welcome Ann Kress and Danny Wegman, and also a special welcome to Bill Strasberg, who uh, have just been, Danny, thank you so much. Um, your team. I only get a chance to stand up here once, so I just need to say it. Your, your team has, from the beginning, welcomed us, challenged us, uh, really helped us to think through holistically how we make this event happen and for our city and for our region. And Bill has been absolutely amazing. Um, we truly are here because of all of you and your partnership. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to welcome the City of Rochester Commissioner Bay Mohammed and the Northeast Quadrant Service Administrator Pamela Reese uh, Smith, who are they are just great partners of our community and the Genesee Brewery. If you could please give them a round of applause. Um, none of our meetings happen without Bob Duffy. Where's Bob? There he is. Um, the CEO of the Chamber here in Rochester and his team. Thank you so much for all of your support, your uh, advice, and your connectivity. We are generally honored to have you as a partner in our place. Thank you so much. All right, so here's the big list. We've got a, a great welcome to all of our local, county, state, and federal representatives, um, as well as many of our business leaders and our community advocates and partners. So I need to give you a whole list of folks here, and every single one of them has made an impact on why we are here. So again, I'd like to thank Governor Andrew Cuomo, the Majority Leader Joe Morelli, and Senator Robach. Uh, again, Bob in the Chamber of Commerce, Danny and his team in the entire Finger Lakes Economic Development Commission, the State Liquor Authority Chairman, uh, Vince Bradley, is here with us today. <laughs> Senator Rich Funky is with us as well. <laughs> Senator Tim Kennedy, who I know is a great fan of the Genesee Brewery. <laughs> Assemblyman Mark Johns. Monroe County Executive Cheryl Denolfo is with us. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you for making time to be with us. Uh, as well as the Monroe County Clerk, Adam Bello. And also Rochester City Council President Loretta Scott, who is here on behalf of the mayor. Uh, the mayor is unable to be with us today, but I can assure you that she is an amazing supporter of our entire company and our people. Uh, she is a real champion, and we really thank her for all of her support. Um, wow. So today, we are thrilled to share with you, and the governor will share with you in a few moments, our single largest investment that our company has made to date. Um, that itself is worthy of great applause, but the things that makes me so proud personally is that it's happening right here in Rochester, upstate New York. We could have chosen to put a lot of things in a lot of places, but because of this partnership and everything we're here to talk about, we are making the single largest investment to secure the generation of jobs uh, in this area as we go forward. And I can't thank the governor and his team enough. As I said, today will go down as a milestone in our history. Um, the plans we are sharing are very special. We will be making New York State's oldest brewery one of the best breweries in the entire country today. 
I like that. Thank you. I like to say that you get the best of the old and the best of the new, and making this the best oldest brewery in the country is incredibly special and honorable for all of us. Uh, it will become the Eco Brewing District Project, the Genesis Eco Brewing District Project, will become our signature community project for Rochester and the state of New York. It will help us to raise the profile of Genesee, the Genesee brand, this campus, this area, and it will help to support and promote Rochester's amazing other breweries that are here with us so that all boats will rise. Uh, people will be able to come to this location in this area in the Finger Lakes region to taste and experience outstanding beer from all of us. And that is an incredible opportunity uh, for this region and for this community. Genesee will have one of the most advanced brewing systems in the entire world. It's hard for you to say that. Um, you think of, of, of Paul Markowitz and the team from the union who've been with us. You think about the folks who've endured all this. To be able to say that we will have one of the best and most advanced brewing systems is just a legacy and testament to all the folks who have worked here to make that happen. Um, it's also very humbling and almost gives you goosebumps to be able to think about it. Uh, we will modernize this brewery. We'll make it more competitive. We're going to make it more efficient. And we're most importantly going to improve its environmental footprint. Um, and with this New York State's help, Genesee will also expand this brew house, this site that you're actually standing in right now that we opened several years ago. Um, we are about to embark upon this partnership to make this a destination for outstanding beer that will also drive a learning opportunity uh, throughout the community to bring folks here. We're going to be expanding our pilot brewery that you've seen by our brewmaster, Dean Jones. We will be expanding our tasting area and hosting other beers from other parts of New York so that people can really see and experience the outstanding offer that we have. Um, and this, this whole side of the High Falls District will really take an improvement from the bigger brewery, from our pilot brewery, from this area, so that we can really build. When you look at the falls, it is the highest set of falls in any urban, any urban setting in the entire United States. And for us together to be building this side in that manner is only going to spur the opportunity for the other side to step up and make us match what will be an incredible experience for us all. Um, you know, before, before you run forward and race to all the amazing news, um, I do think it's really important that you honor and recognize what got us here today. Um, for many of you, you will remember that several years ago, not too far away, we were very close to writing a totally different story for Genesee. Uh, the situation was very tough. We had to go through some very difficult times. Uh, we were two weeks away from closing our doors at the brewery. Two weeks. Uh, we were days away from telling 350 hardworking employees, many of whose fathers and grandfathers and families had been associated in working for this amazing place that they might not need to report to work that morning. Um, honestly, when you sit here and you think about and fast forward to sitting here together with you and writing a new story, a different story about progress, uh, it's really only possible from one thing. And it is really the remarkable uh, partnership between public and private. And I can't tell you that uh, we would not be here without that partnership. And I cannot thank all of you enough for helping us actively build in that partnership for our community, for this upstate area, and for the state of New York. Um, as I said, the Genesee Brewery is about to become one of the best breweries and most modern in the world. Uh, we're going to put Rochester on the map for making outstanding beer, and we're going to connect other folks in our neighborhood. The other 18 breweries who are here in town, uh, our tourism will improve. We're already bringing in almost 300,000 people a year to this location, many who are from out of state already, to visit this amazing place. And with this partnership, we're going to make that better. Um, I guess really the most important point of that is we're going to create value for everybody. And all boats will rise. And as a result of that, we're going to share that value. And again, I'm very thankful for that. Um, over the past several years, we've invested more than $70 million. Uh, as a result of that, going through that hard time and coming out of that with all the partnership, we've sustained our workforce despite a lot of competition. 
Uh, the beer industry, many of you will realize, there were about 400 breweries about six, seven years ago. There's now over 4,000. It's an incredible industry that is growing and thriving. And we've been able not only to maintain our workforce, but we've added over 250 jobs since that moment that I'm talking to you about and shared about. We've attracted a lot of folks to this place. We are partnering. We're growing again, which is an amazing thing for me to say on behalf of our employees. We're investing and we're strategically building a partnership with the community to build this industry. And just quickly mention just a couple. Uh, we've been very active with the New York State Pollution Prevention Institute to redu reduce our solid waste footprint. We're working with Monroe Community College to build a whole new approach to how we drive education, paid internships, and careers in the beer industry. And on Friday, on Friday, we're closing this brewery for the first time, intentionally. We're going to take 200 employees, we're going to put them all into the community, and we're going to work on sustainable projects and beautification of our neighborhood. And later that evening, we're going to do what we do best. We're going to bring 18 of the breweries from this neighborhood and from this area in up, upstate New York, and we're going to hold a Tap It Forward Beer Festival uh, to honor and showcase all of their beer. We're going to do it right here out in the parking lot. We're going to bring in their suppliers and their partners, just like Wegmans does, to recognize and build the community. And we're all going to be here celebrating just outstanding beer. I hope you will join us. So with all of that, it's quite easy to say why we believe in Genesee, why we believe in Rochester and in the state of New York. And all of that is connected to one very important thing. We are very honored that the governor is placing his trust in us. Um, governor Cuomo has shown his vision and imagination to create the Upstate Revitalization Initiative that has generated so many creative solutions among our community leaders and subsequently has sparked the transformation of our upstate economy. Um, we share the governor's values and vision around creating that inclusive community because everyone benefits. We're a triple bottom line company, as many of you know. That means you focus on people, planet, and profits. And we firmly believe that there needs to be no trade-off in any of that anymore going forward. It's up to companies to do all that together. And we have in Rochester an incredible collection of companies and leaders who are willing to do that. Um, the late and honorable Governor Mario Cuomo, who I am a fan of, once said, it's best to lock arms and repair the universe together. And I heard that many years ago um, and saw that recently on YouTube again at the, uh, from the, con I believe it was the Democratic National Convention in 1984, but think about that. You know, how do we get together to lock arms to repair the universe? That's what we are doing. And I think it really captures the sentiment of why we're here today. Uh, we want Rochester to be known as a great place to live, work, and brew. That's what we're doing. And I think um, that's what we're going to celebrate later this week. So it's my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce you to our governor, who's been an incredible supporter for our industry, a visionary for the state of the economic development in this great state of New York, and a man who has led a progressive government agenda that's inclusive, innovative, and it's working. Thank you so much. Please welcome Governor Cuomo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it is my pleasure to be back in Rochester, and it's really my pleasure to be back in the brew house. For those of you uh, who remember, we had a capital for the day a while back, and we uh, celebrated at the brew house afterwards, so it's a pleasure to be back uh, with all of you and the employees, and such a special day. Uh, and the first thank you goes to a great partner. Uh, Chris was talking about locking arms. Locking arms uh, means there's a partner to lock arms with and a company that cares about a city and cares about a region and is willing to make a commitment to stay. Uh, and that's what Chris Circio has done and that's what Genesee has done. And let's give them a round of applause.
And uh, we're here with many colleagues. You're going to hear from uh, Assemblyman Morelli and Senator Roback in a minute. And we have Senator Funky here, and we have Assemblyman Johns, and we have uh, Senator Tim Kennedy, who was a big supporter of this bill so much so he came over from Buffalo just for a free beer. Just think about that. <laughs> uh, Jim Trees Ice is here, uh, who has done so much for this industry for so long. Uh, and Danny Wegman, who is running the REDC, which is do just doing great, great work, which made the decision to fund this project, which was a great investment for the people of the state of New York. Danny Wegman, thank you for your leadership. <laughs> we have Vince Bradley from the State Liquor Authority, who's doing a great job, and we're going to sign a reform bill in a moment on that. And we're here with the former Lieutenant Governor of the State of New York, Robert Duffy. And let's give Bob a round of applause. And uh, the story really starts uh, with Bob. Bob was mayor of this great city. I was the Attorney General. Uh, and we started to work together. And then I decided to run for governor. And we had been talking about upstate New York and the problems of upstate New York. And Bob's constant point was that he would go to Albany as a mayor, and Albany would always turn a deaf ear. Uh, he'd go in, make his case, and then nothing would happen. And that wasn't just Bob and Rochester. That was Buffalo, Syracuse, Utica. That was Albany. That was all of upstate New York. And it's not that Bob Duffy wasn't making his case. He makes his case very well. Well, he's a big guy, you know, hard to miss. Uh, impressive fellow. It's that Albany, frankly, and the state legislature was too consumed with downstate New York and was inattentive to upstate New York. That's the simple but painful truth. You look at the legislature, most of them were elected from downstate New York or Long Island. And that was always the focus. And upstate New York got the short end of the stick. And I asked Bob to run with me. And he said he didn't want to leave Rochester. And I said, in a great jujitsu, by the way, if you really loved Rochester, you would come be lieutenant governor. If you really loved Rochester, you would leave Rochester to fulfill your love. He was confused by what I said, and so was I. <laughs> but the point was, you want to help Rochester, we're going to have to do it from Albany because Rochester cannot pull itself up by its own bootstraps without help from the state and without someone to start the investment. And that's what we did. And that's when you saw the story of upstate New York starting to turn around. And we've invested in new industries that frankly no one heard of six or seven years ago. If I told you Rochester was gonna be in the photonics industry, you would say there is no such industry as photonics. If I told you Buffalo was going to be in the solar panel manufacturing business, and they were going to be the home to the largest solar panel manufacturer in the hemisphere, which is what Senator Kennedy and I were just looking at, you would say, I've never heard of that industry. If I took you to Albany and said, we're going to be the home of nanotechnology, and companies from all over the globe are going to come to nanotechnology facilities you would think I made the word up. So we're attracting new industries and new businesses, and they're coming to upstate New York. But we're also working with the traditional industries to bring them forward and to grow them. The brewery industry, the wine industry, has phenomenal potential for the state of New York. And we have had great success in growing that industry. Jim Treesice, who, who runs the Wine and Grape Foundation, works with breweries and wineries all across the state. It has been uh, exponential, our growth. It's been a growth industry all across the country, but the growth, growth has even been greater in the state of New York. When you look at the numbers, there were 20 wineries I'm sorry, 20 years ago, there were 40 wineries in the state of New York. 20 years ago, 40 wineries. Today, 400 wineries, right? <laughs> uh, 
New York is now the third largest producer of wine in the United States. $200 million industry is now our winery industry in this state. Breweries, when we took office, there were 71. Now there are 220 breweries all across the state. So it has been a tremendous, tremendous growth. And, and Chris alluded to this, it's not just the breweries and the wineries. We have also invested very heavily in tourism, the I Love New York campaign, because I have always firmly believed when people see upstate New York, they're going to want to visit upstate New York. Once they see what we have, they see our beauty, they see our natural resources, they're going to come. We just have to expose the beauty. And that's the I Love New York campaign. We invested $100 million, thanks to the legislature, in the I Love New York campaign, advertisements, et cetera. Tourism is now a $100 billion industry in the state of New York. And in the past two years, that tourism industry has increased $2 billion, believe it or not. So it's a great growth industry, tourism. And we have a synergy between tourism and the wineries and the breweries. And we have linked them together where people now do trips where part of the trip is a wine trail, the Finger Lakes region for wine tastings, breweries, et cetera. So it has had phenomenal economic success for the state of New York. Uh, and I think in many ways, this project brings it all together. Uh, the Genesee Brewing Company is not just another brewing company. It is a part of New York's history. It's a part of New York's tradition. We grew up with Jenny. Uh, and there was a sad chapter where Genesee Brewing almost closed. I remember that that it literally was teetering on the edge. Uh, and North American Brewery Company came in and, and people worked together and saved the company. And this is now going to launch Genesee Brewing to a level it's never been before. It's not about stabilizing what was. It's a bit about creating what never has been. The state is going to invest $9 million through the Excelsior Tax Credit Program and through a grant from the URI. The grant is going to also provide that 128 new jobs are going to be created because it's about creating jobs. And half, <laughs> and half of the jobs that are going to be created are going to go to people who are currently living in poverty. So not only are we creating jobs, so it is so smart because it's an economic development initiative creating jobs and it's an anti-poverty initiative uh, lifting people from poverty. Our $9 million is going to be matched by $38 million from the Genesee Brewing Company, which is going to expand this facility make it a state-of-the-art facility, the best brewing equipment in existence today. Uh, so it's not just Genesee of yesterday, it's Genesee reaching a height that it has never reached before. Uh, it will be a site to visit, it will have event space, state-of-the-art equipment, it brings tourism, it grows the brewery industry, it is exactly what we've been working towards. Uh, and to do it with Genesee really warms the heart of all New Yorkers. Uh, because as I said before, they are New York. They're about New York. They've, been, uh, they've had great days. They've had some tough days. But they didn't give up. And we held each other tight. And we lifted each other up. And now Genesee is reaching heights never reached before. And it couldn't happen at a better time because today is National Beer Lovers Day. So, <laughs> we are going to sign a piece of legislation now. And what this legislation does uh, is basically twofold. 
Number one, we've done a lot of work with the wineries and the breweries who said the current laws of the state were strangling their growth. Why? Because the state and liquor laws were basically written during the Prohibition era. And they were very strict and they were very restrictive and they wanted a winery just to grow wine and they couldn't sell. All sales had to happen at specific times in liquor stores and that was the structure and that's the way God wanted it to be from the Old Testament and it was not going to change. <laughs> and it was just out of date with what we were trying to do because we're trying to be creative, we're trying to be entrepreneurial. Wineries now want to do tastings. Wineries want to be able to serve a little food. They want to be able to sell from the winery. They want to be able to ship. Breweries, the same thing. And the laws actually discouraged it. By law, you couldn't do any of those things. So our challenge was to change the laws to actually facilitate business growth rather than frustrate business growth. And this is another installment in changing the laws to facilitate the economic growth of these wineries and breweries, uh, ending a lot of the necessary permittings, uh, processes, so one permit, you can basically run the entire facility, reducing the fees so we don't charge so many fees to a new business that it makes it almost impossible for them to get off the ground, uh, and it also changes the hour of hours of operation that uh, you can now serve alcohol at uh, 10 a.m. on Sundays, which will actually stimulate the uh, restaurant business and the hotel business for Sunday morning uh, activity. So it will liberate, again, the wineries and breweries. It will change the hours from noon to 10 on Sunday. And it will grow an industry. And uh, with this investment today, you see exactly what it's about, building on the tradition, more jobs, more economic development, more tourism, more growth for upstate New York. Congratulations to all. Good morning. That's a little better. I thought you brought the small podium today, Governor, but this is the, the, lar the large one. Thank you uh, so much, everyone, for being here, all my uh, friends and colleagues in government. This is indeed a uh, very exciting day for the Rochester community. As Chris and I were talking beforehand, I said it's hard to imagine Rochester without Genesee Beer and without Genesee Brewery. So today is another uh, important day in the storied history of this company. And I do want to thank the Governor, who has been an extraordinary partner over the years in our efforts to revitalize the upstate economy. It is one of the constant themes in his time as governor that he has continued to talk about how important upstate revitalization is. The URI, which we are blessed to win in our region, is a concrete example of that commitment and that dedication. So Governor Cuomo, let me thank you once again publicly for all the work that you did. And I do want to thank Chris and North American Breweries. Um, for their dedication to our community over the years, and more importantly, for their confidence in our future. I want to uh, also echo, echo uh, earlier comments and thank the members of the Regional Economic Development Council. This is an idea that the governor had when he became governor. The Finger Lakes region is blessed to have Danny Wegman and Ann Kress uh, leading the great work that we do. And it's helped us to transform this region by really requiring us to think about those things that are transformational and one of those is the proposal to create the Eco Brewery District, which under the URI uh, went on uh, to win top honors, and it's what made today's investment possible. Our community boasts a long and proud tradition in this space, um, and one of our great critical partners has been the North American Breweries, which, as Chris said, employs over 500 people in our area helping to grow our agricultural economy and promoting tourism, as the governor has just outlined. Um, when this brewery and this region and this industry thrives, uh, it creates jobs, it puts money into the economy, and sets the stage for future development. And just looking outside at those beautiful falls, and as Chris remarked, the highest falls in any urban setting in the United States of America, and what a fabulous project uh, this will be, and that will continue to drive development, not only in downtown Rochester, but throughout the region. 
um, and to have government partners and business partners working together makes this especially uh, gratifying. And I also want to thank, uh, the governor touched on it, uh, the commitment that the brewery has made to focus their hiring on people in, by people impacted by poverty. Integrating an approach recommended by the Rochester Monroe Anti-Poverty Initiative, and I want to thank the county executive and the mayor for their great partnership and work together uh, with all the people who serve on our steering committee and as part of this broad effort. This was another initiative that the governor uh, brought forward uh, just a year and a half ago, and it's paying big dividends with this project. This collaborative approach will benefit the entire community and make sure that all people in our region are able to participate in the economic activity at North American Breweries. So I look forward to continuing the partnership through our Pathways to Prosperity, uh, the work group which has helped create a stronger economy, a stronger workforce, and ultimately a stronger community. So again, Governor, I want to thank you for your leadership on upstate revitalization, for your leadership on the poverty initiative. Um, we now have the resources through your efforts. We have the plan, and um, now today we take great pride in the steps that we're making to ensure that this entire region uh, continues to grow, prosper, and have an amazing future. And with that, let me uh, bring to the podium my great friend, my partner, part of the dynamic duo that uh, represents the state senate in our region, the Honorable Joe Robach. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, honored and delighted to be here. And I want to say first that, uh, Governor, last time, thank you for being back. We were here. We were on our Harley Davidson motorcycles riding through Rochester for breast cancer uh, screening and no co-pays, a good cause. Today we're here focusing on jobs and beer. By my way of thinking, New York government is in the right direction. <laughs> I mean, even, even Danny Wegman's thinking about getting a Harley Davidson. People don't know it. And I want to say too, when you talk about being at home, this looked very much like my dorm room at Brockport State College <laughs> back in the 70s. Uh, and I want you to know before Bob Duffy rips me, the drinking age back then was 18, Bob, so I was legal. <laughs> but on a very serious note, uh, my colleague Joe Morelli's right, uh, Rich Funky, Tim Kennedy, us in the Senate, we talk about it. Uh, for a lot of years, uh, much of my life was directed in making sure uh, we got fair treatment by New York State government for upstate New York. And the URI is the platform that allows us, whether it's our colleges, our universities, our companies, or this now partnering um, with North American breweries in Genesee to make these good things happen is paramount. And it's good for the whole community, but really, you know, my message is simple. What this is really about is all these folks you see back here that work here, the Teamsters that deliver the product, some people have had a lifetime, their fathers worked here, their mothers worked here, now they work here. Keeping those jobs and keeping that tradition alive is so important. And, Genesee is not just competing, whether it's the iconic brand Genesee that we've all knew and grew up with, whether it's been the contract brewing, uh, and now the craft brewing, and trying to make this a little bit of center, our whole region around this place is all wonderful good news, not only for the brewery, but for our whole economy. And I am very glad, working in a bipartisan way, the governor, the legislature, all of us, we can be working partners. That's what it's all about. It's all about building New York, jobs, opportunity, we're even going to sign a bill that's going to give people an opportunity to drink more product legally outside of their home, even a little earlier, right? Are we signing that? Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. But thank you all. And uh, to Chris and your team, you know, thank you for the investment. We're working partners, and we just want to build, build, build. Thank you. So we're going to welcome all the program uh, speakers up to sign the bill. Of course, I want to thank the governor and uh, Majority Leader Morelli and Senator Robach again for all their support. Uh, we are extremely grateful again, Danny, to the entire Economic Development uh, Council for all your help. Um, Vinny, Stefan, all the folks, Anne, thank you so much for everything you're doing, making this a great destination for beer. Uh, also want to thank all the fellows behind me as we signed this. If you could give these folks an incredible round of applause as well. And ladies.